Hello, YouTubers. I want to welcome you to another edition of Bargain Bin Gear. Now, this has been uh, a particularly trying week for me as a uh, my TC Electronics Plethora X5 uh, it turns out one of the knobs wasn't working so I had to send it in for repair warranty repair we'll see how that goes um, luckily I had a backup unit which is good okay now this week uh, we're going to take a look at what is most definitely um, the most expensive amp head uh, that I've ever covered here. And it's a, it's a $2,000 amp head, if you can believe it. And it's made by Meza Boogie. Okay. And what we're going to do is compare it to the now discontinued um, Fender Super Chap X2, which was originally $399. Huh. And now they're both amp heads and they're both tube amp heads okay now the Meza Boogie amp head we're talking about is the Mark 525 and that goes um, to the 25 watt amp head okay it's got six different modes and let me tell you something. Um, here we're just going to compare the clean channels. However, most people like this amp because of its distortion channel. Right? Um, fans of metal and, you know, Dream Theater, John Petrucci, and so on. Um, use basically the Meza Boogie amp head and, and it's got all kinds of sounds in it all the previous Meza Boogie amp channels are in there you know like the Mark 2C Plus and so on and so on and so on okay making it incredibly expensive I mean I'm still stunned at the price Really, I mean, I, and I've seen them pretty, pretty high, you know. Uh, but the standard price, pretty much street price, is about eighteen ninety nine. So by the time you add tax and shipping, you're at two thousand, right? And incredibly, it's quite small. In fact, let's take a look at it right here. And here it is. You can see it's. It's a really small little amp head, but it has a lot of uh, buttons and a five band EQ as well. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, um, as you saw, it's a very compact, very small amp head, but very, very powerful. And on the distorted channel, it's unbelievably loud, right? I mean, and I guess that's its forte, right? Is on the distorted channel can be very, very loud. Also, um, it has a lot of tone shaping features from the five band EQ. It has a presence control, a separate um, bass, mid, and treble controls right and it has a on the clean channel for example 
right? You have two different kinds of clean. Plus, you can also um, turn on the uh, fat mode, right? Makes it sound thicker if you like. And on the back of the amp are reverbs, right? And there are two separate reverbs for each channel. So there's a lot going on there. However, you know, the price is very, very expensive. Uh, however, Mesa Boogie is also known, you know, as a really high quality um, amp maker, if you like. Now, compare that to the little Fender Super Champ X2. And let's take a look at that. So here's the Fender Super Champ X2 head, right? Now this is only a 15 watt head, okay? And uh, pretty basic. I mean, uh, at least on the on the first channel, which is what I use primarily. Um, it's basically a clean guitar amp sound. And it has reverb and EQ. There's no mid control, no presence um, as it is. Uh, however, uh, when they were making these in production, they were only like 300 bucks. Right? Okay, now you may ask yourself. Well, is this even a fair comparison? I mean, I'm sorry, but it's almost like the least expensive uh, tube amp to the most expensive, right? Now, keep in mind, the Fender Super Champ X2, um, it does have a power tube and preamp tube. Um, and some people say, oh, well, it's not a real tube amp, right? But the way I see it is if you take those um, tubes out, right, well, it's not going to work very well. In any case, besides the point, what I want to know is, is the Mezabuzgi worth the extra money compared to the Super Champ X2? as far as the clean sound goes and so to do that we're going to have a, a small test right uh, by no means scientific at all we're going to run into an EVH 2x12 cabinet and we're going to take a listen to both of them and we'll start off with the Mesa Boogie
Super Champ X2.
Okay. So there's a small scientific test, if you like, which is very unscientific. <laughs> okay. Here are my thoughts. One. The Meza Boogie is very um, how to say it almost has a delicate sound to it clean wise and can be sculpted you know with the EQ and, and knobs and so forth um, to get a really nice smooth sound to it in comparison to the Fender Super Champ X2 which is definitely is more limited as far as sculpting the sound okay uh, tone wise also I found that it's not quite as delicate sounding it, um, it's rougher if you like you know uh Comparing the two, um, yeah, I said that's one of the biggest differences I noticed. Okay, and, and part of that is going through the tubes in the Meza Boogie, the preamp tubes and the power tubes, um, a, a lot smoother, um, softer, if you like, almost. Uh, really great sounds. For sure. However, the Super Champ X2, while it's a little rougher sounding, not quite as delicate, you know, or detailed, if you like, um, it has its positives as well. Um, you know, it's a real uh, bold sound, if you like. Now, when you add into that the price difference right it's quite astonishing to me anyway that the Fender Super X Champ would even be close to that and I don't know if it's just because when I was younger you know I couldn't afford real expensive amps and things uh, that I gravitate towards the cheaper amp you know um and, and I, even to this day, you know, that's a $2,000 amp head, and just playing through it frightens me. <laughs> right? Now, remember, I, I usually play in stereo with two amp heads. If I had to get two mezzabugies, well, you'd already be at $4,000. You know? Um, well... Darn it, amp heads shouldn't cost that much. You know? And especially since I'm only going to be using the clean sound. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen back to the playbacks more closely. You know? And try to justify, uh, you know, keeping the Meza boogie. Um, however, to be quite Frank, um, you know, for the difference involved, um, I don't think, first of all, many people would notice, sound-wise, that big a difference. I mean, it's a really tiny kind of a detail. It, you know, uh, and if, if I was on a deserted island, for instance, I'd be perfectly happy with that Fender Super Champ X2 on the clean channel. You know. So it may be overkill just for the clean channel on the Meza Boogie. And don't get me wrong, it's a really nice sound. Um... And all things said and done, the fact that you can really mold the sound and that's a lot, uh, 
I don't know how to describe it. Um, softer sound in a way. You know, whereas I found, yeah, in comparison, the Pender Super Champ X2 is a little rougher. Very much, um, kind of the difference would be very similar if it was uh, an amp without reverb and the same amp with reverb. And the same amp with, with reverb would be like the Mezzo Boogie and the amp without the reverb would be like the Fender Super Champ X2. Um, so, yeah, and I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the Mezzo Boogie is quite sought after, but probably not for the clean sound, though it has a great clean sound for sure. Um, so I'll take a listen more closely and kind of decide, you know, one thing I could do is get another Mezzo Boogie and have two of those, you know, but it seems kind of silly just price-wise, you know. And if you have two Fender Super Champ X2s, you're looking at, what, six to eight hundred dollars tops on the Mezzo Boogie. Right, almost close to four thousand dollars. So that's a big difference, and for the difference in tone is very small in a way. You know, because um, the Super Champ, you know, while it's rough, it can sound quite smooth as well. Uh, I just think it's a little more apparent on the Mezzo Boogie. Uh, but again, you know, people um, who are playing the Mezzo Boogies usually are playing them for the distortion channels, you know, more than the clean channels in any case. Hmm. So this is something to think about, and I'll definitely uh, continue comparing the two. Um, hmm, not sure. If you get to play a Mezzo Boogie, uh, or get a chance to try one, I would definitely recommend it. Because it's quite simple, while it has a lot of knobs and things, it's quite simple to dial in a really great clean sound and distorted sound. You know? Uh, I think the Fender Super Champ X2 yeah, you know, again, not quite as smooth, um, but at the end of the day, quite similar, actually. Maybe you could listen to the samples and give me your opinion down in the comments. All right, uh, very good. Uh, I'll definitely let you know what I decided, you know, whether to keep them as a boogie or maybe sell it. Or get another Mezzo Boogie and have a pair of them. Not sure yet. Uh, you know, and the big con is definitely the price tag. Alright, very good. Uh, see you next time. Okay.